find all local maxima and minima and saddle points of the function f of xy equal to x cubed plus 3xy plus y cubed. We proceed by the second partials test. Step one, we find the critical points. So these will be the points where I take the partial with respect to f, take the partial with respect to y. We want to know where both of those are equal to zero at the same time. For part two, we're going to take the second partials. We're going to form a number d. d is going to be given by, okay, you take the second partial with respect to x, multiply by the second partial with respect to y, subtract off the mixed partial squared. That number's negative, I have a saddle point. If that number's positive, we're going to need to check the second derivative with respect to x. If that's positive, okay, then we're concave up, we have a local minimum. If it's negative, we're concave down, we have a local maximum. And then if it's zero, it's inconclusive, we're going to have to figure out how to get the answer another way. Let's find where the partials are equal to zero at the same time. So let's get our critical points. So what are we going to do? Partial with respect to x, we treat x as the variable, y as a constant. So I'll get 3x squared plus 3y, set it equal to zero. Partial with respect to y, y is the variable, x is a constant. So I'll get 3x plus 3y squared, set it equal to zero. This gives me the equations y equals minus x squared, x equals minus y squared. I substitute x into here, and I get y equals minus y the fourth. Move the y the fourth to the other side. I can factor a y out, so we'll have y equals zero. And then we need to know when y cubed plus one is equal to zero. So one solution there is a minus one, okay? If I want to see that that's the only solution, let's draw the graph of y cubed plus 1. Okay, well really that's x cubed plus 1, but I'll get the idea across. Okay, well here note, this only crosses the x-axis in one spot at minus 1, so there won't be any other zeros. So we'll have our zeros at y equals 0 and minus 1. We put them back into this equation here, so we'll get the points 0, 0, and minus one, minus one, as our critical points. Now we need only check what kind of critical points are they. So we'll need second partials to get the answer, so let's check. So what happens? If I take second partial with respect to x, we're gonna get a six x. The mixed partial is just gonna be a three, and you can get it from either taking the partial of this one with respect to y, or this one with respect to x. So the order doesn't matter here. Then second partial with respect to y is going to be 6y. For our first point, 0, 0, we evaluate and then compute d. So that's just going to be 0 times 0 minus 3 squared is a minus 9. 0, 0 is going to be a saddle point. Point minus 1, minus 1. Again, we evaluate. So get minus 6, 3, minus 6. I compute d, so I have minus 6 times minus 6, gives me a 36, minus 3 squared. That's going to give me 36 minus 9, which is 25. That's positive, so I have to check the sign on second partial with respect to x. That's negative, so that means concave down, so we have a local maximum.